guys welcome back to my channel it's taisha i hope you're all doing well so today's video you guys i wanted to show you how to get this beautiful colorful bright look you know we're at home we can finally just let our inner freaking makeup artist out so i wanted to show you guys how to create this beautiful colorful affordable makeup look so everything you guys is under seven dollars and we're also using affordable makeup tools so if you're in a budget this is the perfect video for you you guys and i just love the way we created this look yet it's so inexpensive you know so if you guys are interested on this video then continue to watch by the way you guys i am going to be putting up a straight hair routine because i know a lot of you guys want to know all about my hair so i'm doing it for all of you it should be coming up soon i'm just waiting for my hair dyes to arrive because i did need to dye my hair again so i'll do a video all about that um, so I'm concealing my eyes with the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. I don't think this concealer is under $5 or under $7, but it's the only light concealer that I have that's super matte, which I like to use as a base. So if you guys cannot afford the Tarte Shape Concealer, just go for this one. I don't even feel like you have to spend a lot of money on concealers. So I'm gonna blend my eye out and today's makeup brushes are all affordable this is from aoa studio it's the e109 i'll have the brushes linked below as well so everything check the description also you guys always have my where i'm from i have my name well not my name you guys will obviously know my name but i have what do i have in the description box i have the camera i used where i'm from my age what I edit with so a lot of like my most asked questions I have in there so check the description box always and then if I forget something just let me know so you guys today's palette I'm gonna be using this one from profusion I can't talk you guys because I'm I don't even know what's up with me but I'm gonna be taking my profusion neon palette this is only five dollars you guys and I'm so excited to test this out hopefully it works because if it does five dollars we're all gonna need this in our lives um i'm getting a lot of like summer vibes from it like spring you know i am so ready for it hopefully by then we can leave the house because girl i'm getting tired of it i'm getting tired of doing absolutely nothing so let's start with the eyes i got this brushes you guys from shop miss a this is what they look like i have tried this brushes you um before but i got them in black so you know they look more professional so these are the brushes I'm gonna be using. They're only ten dollars. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Wet n Wild brush. Who has the best drugstore brushes? I think Elf has amazing drugstore brushes, and also Wet n Wild. They're mostly like under five dollars, so that's great. So I'm gonna be taking the Wet n Wild P15 brush. Okay, this is a great packing brush, so you can really pack in the shadow. And you do want a pretty light base today because we are going to be working with neon colors. And this is in the color Sunnies. And I think, let me see, I need a mirror. Okay, so I'm going to put this here on the inner corner. I did a whole video, you guys, in case you guys haven't been catching up on my videos. I did a video talking all about the new Profusion palettes and I did a tutorial on all of them. So that did take me quite a while so you guys should go you know and watch it and show some support it is pretty pigmented i do have to say there is a lot of fallout but this is only five dollars so you know doesn't bother me and then i'm gonna grab another brush this is from profusion you usually get them with the ten dollar palettes so i'm gonna be taking this more peachy color in generally i don't know how to say that but oh, this one right here, you see the fallout? Tap excess and then apply it on the center. You know what? I guess don't tap excess because then you won't get a lot of pigmentation. So for looks like this, you want to not um, do your foundation before your eyeshadow. Either way, just do your eye makeup first and then your foundation you'll notice how your makeup i feel like it looks a lot more cleaner but it's up to you you know okay so i'm just putting it here on the center and then i'm going to be going back and forth and blending both colors out but still making sure i'm still like you know getting a lot of pigmentation out of it i'm going to grab this really pretty like 
coral bright pink color um this is called bro so i'm grabbing bro and i'm gonna go in with that same e128 brush and i'm gonna put it here on the outer corner i'm just gonna use that to be like my transition shade you guys this is low-key super pretty i like this colors together this color is way more pigmented than that orange color this look is super simple it just takes a lot of like packing in but i love doing simple looks that everyone can do at home you know super simple to recreate and it's super fun too this is a nice color i feel like this is the most pigmented color out of them um i do feel like this little five dollar palettes are way better than the ten dollar palettes at least this time around like these are kind of like hidden gems I'm not even gonna lie these are really good i want to take that orange color again this one does need a lot of packing in though this orange color but like you can make it work i'm gonna go ahead and grab like a smaller i guess pencil brush like this one this is the what the hell happened to me oh that's the mirror you guys i got so scared because my hands like little prints so after i'm done with this i'm gonna grab a smaller brush like the aoa e134 it's like a little pencil brush e i'm going to my phone is like all dirty i'm gonna go ahead and grab let me grab this pink one because it looks cute and then i'll grab that red color this is in like it's like a really pretty like fuchsia pink color let me see kibasa okay this is kind of cute you guys yeah, uh -huh, I'm gonna do that. So, grab a like pencil brush. Let me grab a more denser brush. This is the E132. I don't think this one was on the last set. Or was it? I don't know. So I'm gonna grab that one, and I'm gonna start packing it here in the outer corner. And make sure you always drag your shadow going upwards. So then, with concealer, your eye looks like more lifted. another good blending brush you guys that's really good is this one from elf the fluffy eye blender it's really good to blend everything and to make sure you don't have any harsh lines so yeah i think we're done with the eyes let me go ahead and figure out which pro oh wait no i'm not i need to do my eyeshadow i need to do my mascara and lashes so for lashes today i'm gonna be using this essence mascara you guys this is so bomb i did like an ulta little shopping moment you know um i'll be doing a video soon but this mascara is so good you guys recommended it to me i think i tried it before i don't remember if i tried it before but this time around i really like it, it makes your lashes look so pretty Look at that. You guys see that? I feel like it makes them look so long and pretty. So I'm gonna do that. And then for lashes, I just bought this lashes. I used them in my hygiene video. A lot of you guys like my makeup there. I'll do a whole go to glam soon. I'm just waiting for my hair dye because I'm trying to do it like all in one video. But you guys, these are the lashes I use. They're the Kiss Envy. Envy? I don't know how to say it. This is in the color Chic 3D. Is that the color or the name? No. Yeah. No. I don't know. They're in the shade 14 or number 14. So this is what they look like, you guys. They're from Amazon and they look so good. Let me show you guys. They were less than $7, I think, for two. And that's what they look like. So imagine it with this look yes it's gonna look so much better let me figure out which eye is which is it this eye let me see yeah i think so i don't know i want to go ahead and apply them once the lashes are on you guys we're a whole new person like we're just a whole new person so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face i'm taking my elf mattifying primer this is the matte putty primer i really like this primer you guys um it should be coming up in a few days where i talk all about my favorite new makeup products you guys know i've done it before and i feel like it's like a perfect video for mini reviews you know to know the stuff that's worth our money 
Well, I want to go ahead and apply this all over the face. So now, you guys, for foundation, I'm going to be taking my two... Oh, I was about to drop it. This two com foundation combine looks so good together. So this is... Why am I dropping everything? Okay. So this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. And this is in the shade Honey. You guys know how much I love this foundation. And you guys, it's Glam of Flush, not Glam of Launch. Why was I saying that? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to apply this all over my face. Um, recently, you guys have been telling me that they changed like the packaging. It's like a pink packaging now. I have not been to Walmart, you guys, in like weeks. I miss Walmart though. I like I miss TJ Maxx and Ross and all the stores. So I haven't been able to like pick up the new one. I don't think you can get it delivered to you either. Or can you? I don't know. But hopefully it's the same formula. If not, I'm gonna be so mad. Because this is one of the best six dollar foundations and then i'm mixing it with the believe beauty foundation and this is in the color toffee my shade is natural tan you guys told me that and we're foundation twins but every time i go to dollar general i cannot find it and they do send me some stuff so shout out to believe beauty for you know sending me stuff and they sent me this color and I feel like it matches me really good right now. I did just self tan too. And the sponge I'm using for today's video is this one from Amazon. I'll link them below you guys. They are so good. And you get a packet of four. I think it's like for $8. And they're so squishy. They're not super like squishy like the Elf one. But I feel like for the price it's worth it especially if you know you don't want to spend four dollars each time for one you can get a bunch of them for eight dollars you know do i have dandruff i think i do you guys i've been struggling with raindrop lately and i don't know what to do i actually found this product that's been helping a lot i'll share it with you guys on a favorites video but yeah like i don't know i've been going through it we all been going through it. And then for concealer, I'm gonna be taking this one's from Elle. You guys remember the 16 hour wear camel concealers in the shade medium beige and light sand. I was gonna use the hydrating one because I low key like that one more than this one, mostly because of the color selection, but I couldn't find it. I don't know where it's at right now. So I'm just gonna use this one. And don't forget to bring it upwards. Oh wow, I forgot how matte this one truly is compared to the hydrating one. But I like the other one because the color matches me better. This one, since it's matte, it kind of oxidizes and turns another color. Be super careful, you guys, here. Have you guys ever messed up like your eyeshadow thanks to concealer? I've done that so many times, you guys, and it pisses me off. All right, guys, so then after I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and apply some setting powder. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this is in the color Light Beige. You guys, this used to be like my favorite powders ever, and I haven't used them in a while. I kind of forgot about them. And then apply it. I do not like to over apply powder. I feel like it's unnecessary, so I go in the back of my head, and then I apply it, you see? And I set my whole entire face with the little bit of amount I can get. The little less, is that even a word? A little less amount? That's not a word, I made that up. But yeah, I'm gonna set that. And then for the face, I'm taking my favorite Ellie Girl in the shade Nude Beige. And that, I, I'm still using the same sponge, you guys. I'm just using the rounder side of it to set my face. And this will give you extra coverage. It will make you look more glam, less pores, you know, will make you match better. I use a lot of powders, but in thin layers and with the sponge so it doesn't look cakey. You guys, I don't know how I could forget about those Maybelline powders because they make you look so good. Like, they truly, truly do. So then, 
once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and contour the face, you know, bronze up the skin a little bit. So I'm gonna start by taking you guys, I low-key forgot about this too. I've been like going through my collection to use like, you know, products I haven't used in a while. So this is the BH Cosmetics Satin Finish Bronzers. This used to be my ride or die bronzers. They're so good. So hopefully I still like them in the color Golden Gal and Bronze Beam. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the lighter shade first. Let me apply the other one. And then I'm mixing in bronze, babe. Bronzer is a must for me. Oh shit, I over applied it here. Look, you see? I'll show you guys how to fix that. But let me go ahead and what is this called? Bronze, babe, and golden girl, my double chin. Because this needs to go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I did. So I just go ahead and go with my powder sponge and just go over it. Okay, so I just found this, you guys, from Essence and they're so good. I highly recommend them. They're the new Essence blushes in the color Beloved. I went ahead and order another one because they're that good, you guys, and they're only $3. So I highly recommend them. And I wanna apply this here on the apples of the cheeks with this really cute blush brush from e.l.f. It's just called Blush. But yeah, you guys, this is so cute, so pretty. They're so pigmented, so be really, really careful. And I also like picked up this brush. This is like my first time using this um, blush brush and it's cute. It's really small. So it's time to finish up the lower lash line. I have a bunch of pencils, you guys. So I have this one's from LA Girl. They're the neon chalk. And then I also have this one's from ColourPop. So let me see. Should I do blue and then use the blues of the palette? Or should I not? You see, I wish you guys were here right now. So you guys could tell me what to do. I guess I'll do blue. Let's do something different. So we'll do blue. You guys, this part tickles. I'm just grabbing that blue shade. And I'm just going to smudge it here on the, um, what is it called? Water lash line. Okay, this is low-key kind of pretty. You guys, I tried something new. So please give it a thumbs up for trying. You guys know my basic ass loves neutrals. But, you know, I just had to. You know, I had to. And I'm bringing it like towards the pink color because it's going to create purple. So I'm going to go in, you guys, with my ColourPop BFF3 lip pencil. This used to be one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to go ahead and sharpen it really quickly because I haven't used it in a while. So where's my mirror? Okay, so let's go ahead and overdraw our lips. And then, of course, I'm going in with Morphe Sweet Tea. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend it with my finger. And today's lipstick, I'm taking this one from L'Oreal. And it's in the color Ultra Nude. One of my favorite ones, you guys. I feel like these lipsticks are super underrated. And mine broke. I don't even know how. But look at this nude. It's so good. If you guys have watched my lip combo videos, then you guys already know about this but if you haven't girl i don't know what you're doing you should definitely go and watch those videos i have like a whole series on them then you could leave it like that but you know i want to show you guys a whole lip combo so i'm going to be taking the nyx butter glosses they smell so good you guys i love the smell and i'm gonna apply this here on the center and this is in future cookie or no fortune cookie you mean I smell? Look at that. See? An affordable lip combo, you guys. That makes you look like that girl. And yeah, guys, that's it. This is the final makeup look we created for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I honestly really like it. I love how colorful it is and how affordable at the same time everything is. You know, full coverage, matte skin, colorful eyes, and then the new lips just like 
signature me so that being said hopefully you guys enjoy it please give it a thumbs up if you guys did also you guys let me know in the comments below if there's any products that are under seven dollars that we should all try and let me know what you guys think of this video and i'm gonna go ahead and go hopefully you guys enjoy it and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys